here's the two collar edition of the dog shock training collar. Okay, have our instructions. Travel charger, remote, two adjustable collars, USB charging cable, two charging shock units, sets of studs and inside as well there's a testing light. I'm going to turn it on. Oops, there we go. There we go. It's on. You can see in the mode we have the light, we have the shock, and we have vibration. Okay, so I'm going to keep it in shock mode. Now let's turn these on. Oh, you can see actually this one is on, but if it wasn't on we could use this on button. It's also a reset button to turn it on. There you go. It's on. This one here, same thing. You can see actually it's on, but you can double check. Let's go in here. There we go. Okay. Don't need to press it too long. Okay, so we got two live collars and the remote. Within two minutes, you should pair the remote with the collars. Okay, you can see we have two channels channel one, channel two. We keep it on channel two to pair the remote with the collars. So we, let's go to vibrate mode. Press yes, vibrate. Let's go to sound mode. Press yes, sound. Now let's let's see if the shock is working. This is the test bulb. There we go. Okay, so the test bulb's in place. Now let's see if the shock is working. And you can see the light comes on. The shock is indeed working. One last thing to notice is we're on channel one, as you see here indicated by the one. If I switch to channel two and we try the same test, fact see nothing happens. We change back to channel one and there you go. So our number two receiver is ready to go so let's see if it's working. We're on channel one. Let's switch it to channel two. There we go. We're on channel two. We're in the vibrate mode at 100%. So let's see what happens. There we go. Let's watch again. Okay. Let's change mode. Let's change to the sound mode. Let's take a listen. Okay, there you go. Now let's go to the shock mode and see how that's working. It's at zero right now, as you can see. Change it to 100. Put our shock studs on. Test our test bulb in place. Go. Now let's see what happens. Ready? There you go. And shock mode is working. Now let's see how they work together. Channel one. Uh, let's go to vibrate. Vibrate channel one. There you go. Vibrate channel two. And we have perfect pair. The pairing within 30 seconds or they would not be able to pair. So let's wait. Okay, you heard that. Now they're not going to be able to pair. Let's give it a try. Yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. So if that ever happens, you need to reset. I'm actually one battery will be enough. Let's put it back in. Okay, it's active. Now let's pair them up. There you go. Uh, you may notice that uh, the remote stays active for a while and then the screen display goes blank. Uh, that doesn't mean your batteries have lost power, it's just gone into sleeping mode. So let's take a look at how that happens.
Okay, so now it's in sleep mode. You can see the LCD went off. Now we can press any button, like this button, and you're back on. So we've waken it up from sleeping mode. That was the light sleeping mode. Deep sleeping mode would have been if we let this off for five minutes or more. In that case, you would have needed to hold the mode button for at least three seconds first, and then it would wake up or go to sleep. One end in here, and the other end goes to the travel charger or your computer. There you can go. Uh, it's charging. It's a red light. When it's finished charging, it'll go green. I can do the same thing with the shock units. Can go here. Oops. And here you go. It's charging. When it's finished charging, it'll go green. That's for both these.